TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. When we write a program, the way we name variables is important. As far as possible, we should name them in such a way as to indicate the role a variable plays in carrying out a particular programming task. Choosing meaningful names will help us to remember the purpose of a particular variable in a program. And just as importantly, it also helps other people, such as tutors, to read and understand the program a student has submitted as part of a TMA. Here are some examples. The name sides in your polygon drawing program reflects the fact that the value of this variable is the number of sides of the polygon. The name total indicates to a reader of the program that the value of this variable holds the total or sum of other values. On the other hand, names such as var1 or var2 give no clue as to the role played by these variables. Here are some guidelines to help you choose appropriate variable names in a consistent way. Although there's no upper or lower limit on the number of characters that can be used in an identifier, very short identifiers such as A, B, C or CH should be avoided wherever possible as they are not very informative. And as far as possible, avoid the use of symbols such as the dollar sign or the underscore in identifiers. Identifiers composed entirely of letters are usually the most meaningful to human readers though it can be appropriate to use digits in identifiers for a number of variables with a similar purpose. So for example, total one, total two, total three, and so on. Start your identifiers with lowercase letters. Where an identifier is composed of two or more English words, it's suggested that you use a single uppercase letter to mark the start of each word after the first word. Uh, this style of identifier is known as camelback or camel case and it will be used throughout TU100. Here are some examples of camelbacked identifiers. Total item count is written like this. Date today would be written like this. And family name like this. What might be a suitable name for this variable in the polygon drawing program? The one that holds the number of polygons that the program should draw. We'll make this particular variable in the next video, but in the meantime, bearing in mind the guidelines for choosing variable names, have a think about a suitable name for a variable that will hold the value of the number of polygons that will go into this repeat loop. See you in the next video. Bye for now.